Jason wasn't quite sure how it had come to this. Wasn't he the conquering hero? The celebrated man of the hour? Certainly he supposed he was being celebrated, but for whatever reason, he felt something wasn't quite right with the way it was being done. Strip, strip, strip! Viashi yelled, her sister echoing the sentiment, along with the rest of the crowd of rowdy, drunken Chilvanti crowding around the table he was standing on. Over in the corner of the room, he could see Tarsal nursing something fruity while shaking his head in exasperation. Raisha was in the crowd, quite drunk, and shouting along enthusiastically with the rest of them. It wasn't like he had any room to judge. He was quite drunk himself. Strip, 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 the crowd cheered. Grinning, he slowly started lifting the hem of his shirt. At the end of the day, he supposed how they were celebrating didn't matter. He was having fun. His new friends were having fun. Even Tarsa was having fun, even though the small male was trying to hide it. Everyone was enjoying themselves, and that was what all that really mattered. Ooh! The crowd roared as he whipped his shirt around like a lasso above his head. Fuck me, those girls can party. Jason groaned as he tenderly lowered himself into their hotel room's hot tub. A genuine hot tub with bubbles and everything. A gift from the other members of the cadre and the militia. They can party. Tarsal scoffed from his own spot in the water, naked as a jaybird and slightly tipsy. You did... that thing, the... what did he call it? A helicopter dick, Raisha says somewhat dreamily. Yes, that, Tarsal deadpanned. Jason had at least had the decency to look embarrassed. Maybe I got a little too into it. He'd also gotten a little drunker than he intended. Most Shulvanti beverages tended towards the fruitier side of things, which made gouging just how much alcohol was in them a little harder than it would be on Earth. I don't know, Raisha said, flushing slightly, or at least turning bluer than she was already. Given that she was naked in a hot tub with two equally naked guys, something that had to have come up in her wildest fantasies at least once, she'd already been rather flushed. I thought it was rather fun. She frowned slightly. You know, right up until he threw up on everyone. Now it was Jason's turn to flush a deeper shade of red. He honestly couldn't decide what was worse, the helicopter dick or the vomit bukkake that followed it. At least it had served to sober him up some. The three of them had gotten out of there rather quickly after that, lest the combined militia and Cardo's group gratitude of being granted victory be outweighed by the indignity of being sprayed by the surprisingly fluorescent contents of Jason's stomach. Though one of them did look kind of into it, he thought, shuddering at the woman's expression in his memory. Like Christmas had come early. Fucking Shulvanti. Jason deliberately put the thought from his mind as he turned to his two friends. None of them had explicitly stated that they'd be bathing together. It had just sort of happened. He knew for a fact that it wasn't a normal Shulvanti custom, given that Phyrexia had been fairly mystified by the notion of social grooming. He also wasn't ignorant of the way Raisha was fairly vibrating in place. The girl had most definitely not forgotten the promise he'd made her, and certainly intended to collect. Which was fortunate for him because he was feeling a little amorous himself. All right, I'm out, Tarsal said, clambering from the tub and wrapping a towel around himself. What? Jason asked. I'm getting out of here before you two get down to business, the alien said as he stepped through the door into the other room. I'll be in my room, he said, referring to the one they'd booked next door for this very reason. I, uh, Jason started to say, feeling slightly guilty yet essentially pushing Tarsal away. Thanks? He called belatedly to the retreating alien's back. You owe me, Tarsal called back, slipping on his shirt as he slipped out of the room, leaving Jason alone with Raisha. The young woman was blushing up a storm and seemed torn between staring at him and staring at anywhere but him. It was kind of cute to see her all bashful like this. Where would all that confidence from the laundry room disappear to? He teased. The woman's eyes widened before a strange fire bloomed at them making Jason wonder if he had just made a mistake. The alien swept forward, spinning water onto the tile floor as she stalked towards him through the suds, her partially submerged breasts parting the water before them like the prow of a ship. You have no idea how long I've waited for this, Raisha murmured, her voice filled with an almost frightening need. It was like he was listening to an entirely different person. 
Gone was the goofy farm girl, replaced by a grown woman who was positively burning with desire. Wait! Jason most definitely did not squeak, stopping her in her tracks. Just as quickly as the ravenous woman had arrived, she was gone, and the goofy Raja he knew was back in her place. What? Did I come on too strong? Mom always said the guys liked confidence, but she also said not to be too pushy. Was I too pushy? I can be gentle, I promise. Despite himself, Jason wanted to chuckle, and it took almost inhuman willpower to hold it in. He could only imagine the catastrophic damage he would do to the poor girl's ego if he showed a hint of amusement right now. No, it's just... I was with a driller and Frexer in the tile bathroom, he said, cringing slightly at the fact that he was bringing up the two women he slept with before Raisha. I was kind of hoping to, you know, do it on a bed with you? He trailed off, looking at the ceiling. You know, make it special. And avoid the inevitable bruising that followed such a liaison. Silence reigned, and he wondered if he'd made a mistake. Slowly, he craned his eyes down to look at his pseudo-girlfriend, racing for the worst. Raisha looked shocked, her mouth wide open, and he couldn't tell if that was good or bad. Raisha? He prompted. Yes, she said before shaking her head. I mean, yes, to the thing. The bed thing. I would like that. Jason nodded. Okay, then let's... Oh! Then he was being bodily dragged out of the tub and towards the bed. He flinched a little as he was nearly bodily thrown onto it. Not a being thrown, but at the wet patch he had no doubt was forming under him. Gonna be a pain trying to sleep while avoiding that tonight, he thought. Though he had a feeling that sleep was the last thing on Raisha's mind as she stood over him. It was kind of a shame. He'd had an idea in his head as to how this evening would go. There'd be romance, seductive massages, foreplay, little kisses and shows of affection. He'd really intended to go the whole nine yards to make it a night for the alien girl to remember. Of course, he'd forgotten that Raisha had more in common with your average male teen than a woman from Earth. Complete with fumbling and haste, he thought, as she squeezed his pecs in a manner he imagined she fondly thought of as sexy or pleasurable. It wasn't. It was cute in an adorably clueless way, which he supposed was sort of sexy. He jolted a little as her tongue slid over his stomach, the warm organs skittering across the skin with little in the way of rhyme or reason. It wasn't a little bit of tongue either. It was a full body swipe, as if she was trying to give him a sponge bath. He glanced down to say something, only to see that she wasn't even looking at him. Her entire focus was on what she was doing. Ah! Oh, hello there! As a distinguished member of the Imperial Aristocracy, I was most pleased to discover Ned Narrator's YouTube channel and his historic accounts of humanity demonstrating their greatness. However, after I had spent several months watching all of his videos on YouTube, I noticed something missing with my favourite show, Sexy Space Babes. That's when I realised that there was more to the story on Patreon, along with other naughty things that the YouTube Inquisition would not find too amusing, like the lost hidden chapter involving my favourite waifu Tarsil. So why not come with me, not literally, and join me on Patreon at a £5 tier, where you can listen to unabridged HFY and other naughty things. Cheers!